Hi there, Sammy here, your host of the Digital Marketing Therapy Podcast, and I am excited to be coming back with another Fast Fact Friday episode. And today we're going to be talking all about repurposing the content that you are creating. It's a lot of work to create content and we wanna make sure you get the most leverage from everything that you create and that you're utilizing the content that you already have and repurposing it for new use in front of your audience. So that's what we're gonna talk about today in this quick episode, but before we get to it, this episode is brought to you by our digital marketing therapy sessions. So we have 30 minute sessions available to you that you can book with me to sit down and talk about anything that you need, where you're stuck, what you might need to focus on, or in this case, maybe it's even coming up with the exact plan to repurpose your content in the way that makes sense for you and your audience. So you can book time with me at thefirstclick.net forward slash office hours, and we will meet on Zoom and I will record it and get the recording to you so that you have everything you need to keep moving forward with whatever it is that you're stuck on. But for now, Let's get to understanding how to repurpose your content. You're listening to the Digital Marketing Therapy Podcast. I'm your host, Sammy Bedell Mulhern, and each week I bring you tips from myself and other experts, as well as hot seats with small business owners and entrepreneurs to demystify digital marketing and get you on your way to generating more leads and growing your business. So content can be all sorts of things. It can be your blog, it can be your podcast show notes, it can be a YouTube channel, whatever it is that you're creating on a regular basis. I really hope you're creating something on a regular basis. But a lot of times I find that people take their blog posts, they post the link on Facebook or Instagram, and then they're done with it for the day. So, or for not for the day, but just in general. And they don't actually maximize on the opportunity to get it in front of audiences more often. We tend to think that we are saying the same thing over and over again, but I promise you, your audience isn't always seeing it. So sharing your content multiple times, even on the same platform, is not going to be something that overwhelms or bores your existing audience. I promise you that. So there's a couple different ways that you can repurpose your content, and I encourage you to put these down in a list and just calendar them out. So every time you have a blog post, you know this is exactly how I'm going to be sharing my information with the world. Some of those can be, like I said, show notes on a podcast. Um, I will often share my just general article on social media or my podcast, and then maybe I'll take tidbits and like super awesome facts from that and create a separate post and then link back to whatever it is that I have created. Um, I might create a YouTube video diving deeper into the content that I put on my blog, or maybe I'm going to create a freebie that goes alongside some of my content so I can get people on my email list. If you're doing audio, you could do a transcript on your YouTube video or your podcast on your website. And the other way goes too. If you have a blog post, you could either just record an audio version of it, or there's a program called Amazon Polly where you can take that content um, and have it automatically turned into an audio version so that people can consume it in a different way. You could also, uh, share on a partner platform. So maybe there's other platforms that you know could find value in the content you've created. And so maybe you could ask some of your partners to share your content on their social media. So there's tons of different ways that you can repurpose the content you're already creating. And another way is really to go back and take a look at what you've already written or recorded. And maybe you're just in a mode where you know you just need to repurpose something that you've already created. And it's something that is um, valid still, something that's relevant to your audience and reshare something that's older that you've created. There is nothing wrong with doing that. In fact, it's a great way to um, get more traffic to your website for things that you know are already important. So let's say you take a look at your analytics and you notice that a blog post from six months ago or a year ago or a year and a half ago is still something that is driving a lot of traffic to your website, something that people still find a lot of value in. Resharing that information will help your audience because clearly they 
have an interest in that topic or what whatever it was that you put out there. But also from an SEO perspective, you're continuing to drive traffic to a web page that is already doing well. And that's just going to continue to help the search engines understand how to promote your website and which pages are most important for them to share with audiences. So that's just a down and dirty quick way to think about repurposing your content. Remember to not be afraid to share things more than once, even if it's something that you just published. Come up with a strategy for how you can take one piece of content and turn it into five or six different social media posts over the course of two weeks. And it will help you all around with creating the strategy to push out things and not feel overwhelmed by the amount of things that you need to create. Take what you have, use it over and over and over again, and I promise you it will help you tremendously all around in your marketing. So thank you so much for listening to this Fast Fact Friday episode. I hope you're enjoying these quick little tips. Um, I have fun recording them for you. And so I hope you'll subscribe wherever you listen um, or head on over to the firstclick.net forward slash podcast if you wanna check out the show notes um, and leave us a comment about all the ways that you're going to be repurposing. Um, I am looking forward to checking them out. For now, I'll see you next week.